Hey, what's up guys? So welcome to this week's challenge rift guide for 130, which is going to be a Tal Rasha Wand of Woe Wizard. So let's go ahead and go over what we've got in the cube, the equipment, and then we'll go ahead and explain what you need to do and focus in on when you're doing this rift. So first off, as far as what we've got, uh, we've got the Furnace, the Blood Bracers, and the Royal Ring of Grandeur in the cube. We've also got the Aw Guilds uh, set bonus since we have the Royal Ring of Grandeur, we only need two pieces. And then we're also running six pieces of Tal Rasha. Now, whoever made this build kind of messed up because they only put two skills to actually proc off of the six piece bonus with Tal Rasha. So you're significantly hurt over there. But it does happen to have the Wand of Woe and the Orb of Infinite Depth, so we'll get extra damage reduction with this. And this does enough damage from one shot most of the things except for Elite Packs. But we've also got Focus and Restraint. Now, both of these will be able to give us a huge damage boost, plus we happen to have the uh, Bane of the Powerful, as well as Bane of the Stricken, which is only at rank 11. But nonetheless, what you want to do for the build here, there's nothing too important to mention as far as the skills or passives. However, what you want to do in the very beginning, activate Storm Armor, activate Magic Weapon, spam Teleport as much as you can, and then just walk around with Explosive Blast, and when you come against an Elite Pack, pop your Electrocute, pop your Diamond Skin, and you should be good to go. The build is relatively tanky, but uh, sometimes when you get into situations where there is an explosion, you can just pop Diamond Skin and you'll be okay. So let's go ahead and hop through the walkthrough. Keep in mind, uh, you're going to have a lot more time than I am. I'm currently rank 11 right now, so it's going to go ahead and race against my time, so we're going to have to beat that time if we want to go ahead and be a little bit higher on the leaderboard, because like I said, we're currently rank 11. So keep in mind, you'll have a lot more time than what shows on the screen, but let's go ahead and go through the full walkthrough. So in the very beginning, I'm just going to go ahead and teleport so it teleports on cooldown ASAP. We're gonna go ahead and just go straight into this room where there's gonna be an elite pack and just melt him real fast. And then we're gonna go ahead and go upwards. And pretty much you're just hugging the uh, left and the upper side of things in the very first floor. And you just wanna be a little bit efficient with your teleports. That's what's gonna give you the best uh, time. But uh, the build is really easy, and I would say it's relatively tanky and friendly for most people. Um, but the key is to basically teleport. That's what's going to help out with the, the times a lot more than anything. And then we're going to go ahead and go upwards here, and there's going to be Elite Pack right in this room, as well as the room right over. Unfortunately, we got kind of pushed back, so it was like a minus one second over there. There's an another Elite Pack. Once again, you can pop Diamond Skin if you're afraid of any explosions that would be going off. And we're just going to go downwards, and then we're going to go ahead and go to floor number two here very soon. Kill those groups. And there's another elite pack over here. Like I said before, pop diamond skin if you're really worried about anything. And again, just keep your focus and restraint up. We're going to go ahead and teleport over here. We're going to eliminate this elite pack first, grab some of those orbs while we're waiting for teleport to go off cooldown. And we're gonna go ahead and pop the speed pylon, then try to teleport back up with the same teleport that you activated. That's kind of important if you're trying to really min-max here uh, for the leaderboards. Unfortunately, in this uh, upper like left of me, there's no uh, elite pack, so we're just gonna go ahead and skip out on most of the other things. And there's gonna be another elite pack over here. Gonna eliminate this group. And then on floor number three, there's going to be a another elite. So we're going to go ahead and actually skip out on most of these enemies over here. We're not going to go downwards because if you go downwards, there is um, nothing really to go ahead and grab, which is unfortunate. So the meteor shower is going to go ahead and eliminate everything else. There's a shield pylon, which basically means that you're immune to everything for the next floor. So in, the, in this floor over here, you want to go ahead and go immediately upwards because there's like an elite that's kind of hiding in the corner. So you want to go ahead and get him. And then just go immediately straight down. And you're going to see a power pylon. This is going to give you a huge boost of damage and you clear up things very fast because this density is really good on this floor. So now we don't even really have to proc focus and restraint. We can just kind of just move the whole time. And you'll see it will be cleared out very, very fast. There's a new pack. And where the heck is the boss? Unfortunately, he spawned super far away, but we should be able to get this down really easy. And we've probably beaten our time now. So there we go, and our time is 2.47, and let's go ahead and check out what we are on the leaderboard. And now we're rank 6, so there's like a, a, a few seconds to really shave off here. The guy that's rank 1 is just a beast, dude. But uh, anyways, there is the guide for the Challenge Rift 130 for this week. But hopefully this video helped you guys out as far as uh, the build goes. It's Again, it's very strange that the guy saw the 6-piece Tal Rasha, but he's only running 2 skills. But 
that's what I like with these. I like seeing some other people's thought process in their builds. But this is week um, for the, the the Challenge Rift 130. And if you guys are new here and want to see more of these Challenge Rift guides, go ahead and hit subscribe, turn on that bell. I'll be uploading these every single week to help give you guys those guides and kind of tell you guys how you can clear out a little bit faster. But thanks for tuning in, guys. And if you are new here and you do want to check out Path of Exile, I've been basically grinding that game out because they just released a new league, basically a new season. And if you are new to Path of Exile, I definitely recommend you guys to watch my full new player guide and that will kind of help you guys out along the way. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good one, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'm signing out. Peace.